Hi, North Plainfield. Today I want to show you really briefly how to archive your Google Classroom in preparation for the next school year. So if you take a look, I've got a lot of classrooms. Some of them are ones I'm actually teaching this year, like these ones over here with content on them. Uh, some are classrooms that I'm a part of. I'm a student in this classroom. Some I've already started setting up for next year. But um, what I want to show you guys how to do today is how to clear out your old ones for the next school year. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you're looking at what I call the home screen of Google Classroom. So if, let's say, you're in your classroom like this, you can't do it from here. You have to be on the home screen. The best way to go back is just to click on these three bars in the top and click on Classes. This will take you to the overall home screen view where you can see them all. So in order to uh, clear out your classes for the next year, we call it archiving. Now, there's no way to outright delete a class. You can never really delete much on Google. Uh, instead, it archives it so that uh, you can't see it, the students can't see it, but all the work is preserved. So in the event that you need to bring that class back, or let's say a couple years later, you're like, wait, I did this really cool assignment with that one year. Oh, what was it? You can always unarchive it, and I'll show you how to do that as well. So to archive a classroom, you click on the three dots of the class you would like to archive. Click on where it says archive. Archive classes can't be updated unless you restore them. It will be moved to your archive classes, but the files will remain in Google. Archive. And that's it. It's done. It's closed out for the year. You can't see it. Students wouldn't be able to see it. Um, and that's that, really. That's how you will clear out your classes. Now, in order to get it back, let's say you made a mistake. You're following along. You just archived your class, but you're not done yet. and Your kids still need to give you work. You can find your archived classes by clicking on the three the three bars up here, scrolling all the way down to where it says archived classes, and then you will get a nice long list of everything that you have archived. So the one I just archived was this, my test classroom. I'm going to click on these three dots again. I'm going to click on restore, restore, and just like that, it's back on my homepage. Okay, so when you are completely done with the school year, I recommend waiting until after grades have already been sent out, everything is finalized, there's no more changes, there's no more students passing in work. Archive your class and then get yourself ready for the next year. If you have any questions at any time, even over the summer, please reach out to nptechies at nplainfield.org. We are here to help all district staff. Have a wonderful day.